new milk cow. Say hello. Yay, there's her baby. She has a little bull calf. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Yeah, hello. So this is a new addition to the homestead, guys. You're gonna get to see them soon. Oh, we better close them up. They're gonna try to get out. Oh, hello. The next day. Greetings, YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. We are at the property here with our new cows and some disturbing news. We don't know where the bull calf is. We don't know if he was stolen during the night. Please pray that's not the case. Her udder is so full. We have walked the entire property and we cannot find him anywhere. We are at this point beside ourselves. Mama is calling for him. He's only a few days old. There is Jedediah's cow. And she is in the barn there with what we're gonna make the gathering place. We've gone ahead and fenced this area in for them while we are in the process of transitioning. We don't know if he got out and someone picked him up. We don't have him tagged. This is just a bad situation. <sighs> just wanted to update you. Um, as you can tell, this poly wire fencing, we turned the electric box on, but babies are so low that they can easily get underneath here. Sometimes they will wander off and lay in different areas, but we have walked the property. We've called the sheriff's department. No one has reported anything. We have seen this in the past where calves will be walking around and people will pick them up. And the fact that he's not um, tagged is not a good thing. She keeps screaming for him and looking. She's looking for him. Um, yeah, we have not been able to find him. Pray that he shows up. Um, it's just a bad situation. We're hoping and praying that maybe he is just laying somewhere and we haven't seen him. Um, but anyway, not such good news at this point. Hoping that it turns out better. Otherwise, we're going to have to get another calf to put on her. But at this point, now that we're not out here, we're kind of scared that people may know that there's no one here because it is abandoned piece of property and that um, it would happen again. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring you this little update. Not such a good one, um, but continue to pray that maybe we will find him. And, uh, yeah, that it'll turn out to be okay because her udder is so full right now and uh, she's never really been milked. So this is something we were going to do eventually. We thought her uh, baby is on her. So we would leave her, him on her for a while till we got out here and then start uh, calf sharing. But, uh, yeah, at this point her udder is very, very full not sure when he last nursed or when this all took place. Jedediah is over there walking the land again um, just to see maybe we missed him somewhere. The next day. Okay guys, it's the next day and as you can tell, our little bull calf has returned. Oh my word, this was a nightmare. He had been gone all day. We didn't find him until late last night, so I wasn't able to film because it was pitch black. He had apparently gotten out into the field over there and he was running with their cattle. And um, the farmer had rounded his cattle up and he was with them all day and apparently nursing off of one of the other mothers. So when he found his way back, when he, I think the farmer ended up rotating them back this way from over there. And so he realized, oh, I think I've come from here and I'm looking for mom. He never cried for her, anything. It was the strangest thing ever. 
Um, of course, Mom had been screaming for him all day. He was cut up because he got through the barbed wire. His nose was all cut up um, and bleeding. He's fine now. Thank you, Lord. We had all prayed. Oh my goodness. So we had to double up on the fencing here. This is just temporary, but we had to go one strand lower, or actually two. There was two before. Now it's four. Turned up the heat a little bit, so in case he tries to get out again, he will be shocked nicely. There he is. We've named him Big Mac. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, very mischievous. That's right. And then um, there's Millie, Mama, and her udder is still very big. She could easily milk two, I would think, or nurse two, I should say, and then still get milk. We had to milk her by hand yesterday, and it was not fun because she was upset, and she was literally squirting milk everywhere. But that has been taken care of. And this one here, Loretta, which is Jedediah's, um, she is a Black Angus. She's Black Angus, and she's a year and a half. Beautiful. She's been helping her nurse as well, <laughs> which has been hilarious. I think she knew she was in distress and was kind of helping her out a little, but not enough. But Millie, Big Mac, and Loretta here, and we are just as happy as can be that he's back. He, of course, is probably going to try and see if he can get through again, but this time it's not going to feel as good. He's going to get quite a shock because we turned it up. So anyway, guys, the story <laughs> turned out a whole lot better than we had hoped from yesterday. Um, yeah, so he came home late last night, and we are so excited because we thought maybe someone had taken him, because um, this is a busy road right there, um, but that was not the case. He got in with um, the farmer's cow. Sorry for the wind. So sorry, it's very, very windy today. Um, I hope that you can hear me I'll try to speak a little louder. But anyway, guys, <sighs> Big Mac has come home. So I just wanted to tell you about that because we were so distraught. We were so worried that he'd been um, taken or he, we don't know, maybe gone into the pond, who knows. <clears throat> but he is okay and he's back. So <coughs> good news. <coughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to end for now because it is so windy. But I just want to give you the, you know, the update and the good news that Big Mac has come home. Until next time, guys. God bless you. Clarence and Clarabelle cuteness. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're wanting attention here. Oh, 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 my word. Clarence is still trying and Clarabelle still not giving in. So here before long when we get their permanent pen, well, not permanent, but when we move them, to the poly wire we're going to separate them so they can't even see each other so hopefully they will then or L Loretta listen to me <laughs> I can't even speak um, Clarabelle will hopefully then want Clarence if they've been separated for a while but we'll see if not Clarabelle may be on the the for sale list <laughs> she's not doing what she needs to do and it's been it's been a while now she's two years old she should have had piglets, so there's the roosters. Yep, they get to free range. The chickens have not come home yet. But we just wanted to give you a little bit of the cuteness here. Cuteness overload for the piggies or porkers. Mm -hmm.